a 22 years old female undergoes thyroidectomy. The resected specimen shows non-capsulated tumor with papillary projection and pale empty nuclei. What is the underlying diagnosis? So here the very very obvious characteristics which is non-capsulated tumor papillary projection and there is pale empty nuclei what is the diagnosis here are the options options are papillary carcinoma follicular carcinoma medullary carcinoma anaplastic carcinoma and b cell lymphoma so all they are the carcinoma of the thyroid gland we have to find out which characteristics is compatible with this symptom so first of all let's see the papillary carcinoma the papillary carcinoma it contains a mixture of the papillary and colloidal field follicle so the papillary carcinoma it is a mixed carcinoma or it usually formed by mixed structure and histologically the tumor has papillary projection and pale empty nuclei so this is very very important that histologically as it is papillary carcinoma so it resembles a papillary projection so papillary projection it is found in case of the papillary carcinoma and the name from this the papillary carcinoma and also there is a pale empty nuclei pale empty nuclei that means the nucleus which is empty and it is known as the orphan ni nuclei so orphan ni nuclei it is a another feature of the papillary carcinoma so these two histological point is very very important for diagnosis of the papillary carcinoma in papillary carcinoma first of all what is present the papillary projection present in under microscope and the second one the pale empty nuclei which is the orphan ni nuclei and the third one is the seldom encapsulated that means it is non-capsulated so it is also very very important that the papillary carcinoma it is non-capsulated because it has pop papillary projection as there is pore projection there is difficult to cover the whole of the surface for this condition it is non-capsulated limb node metastasis occurs so this point is another very very important point which is the it is the limb node metastasis predominant that means it distributed in the body or it metastasize one place to another place by the lymphatic vessels and lymphatic and hematogenous spread are or hematogenous metastasis is very very rare or usually not occur and it accounts 60 percent of the thyroid cancer so it accounts most of the thyroid cancer which is about 60 percent so this slide is or this page is very 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 important for the answering the question of the papillary carcinoma and this each and every word is very very important so give a special attention to this page and uh, you should remember all the topics again uh, we can recapitulate the, it is a mixer so papillary carcinoma it is mixer of the papillary and colloidal field fracture and histologically as it is the papillary carcinoma so there is papillary projection and second one there is orphan ni nuclei that means the pale empty nuclei present and it is non-capsulated lymphatic metastasis very very common and hematogenous metastasis is very rare and it is the maximum portion coverage of the thyroid cancer which is the 60 percent and the second one who who is is the 20 percent is the follicular carcinoma so 60 percent which is three times than that of the follicular carcinoma this is the another phase uh, some extra information that it is the as it is commonest and it is 60 percent of the total thyroid cancer and accurately diagnosed with FNAC. So FNAC is enough for the papillary carcinoma, but it is not enough for the follicular carcinoma. This point is very, very important. That in case of papillary carcinoma, FNAC is enough for diagnosis. But in case of follicular carcinoma, FNAC is not enough. In case of FNAC, usually biopsy required. And histologically, they demonstrate samama body. It is another important information that samama body. What is samama body? The samama body is the area of the calcification. That means, in case of parathyroid gland, there is concentrated uh, concentrated calcium may be present or deposition of the calcium present, and it is done as the samama body. So, area of the calcification in case of papillary carcinoma, it shows the 
characteristics which is the samama body and what is samama body samama body is a collection of the calcium in the papillary carcinoma and so called it is the orphan ni nuclei so the nucleus become pale and also known as the orphan ni nuclei and it is metastasis by the lymphatics and metastasis from a well differentiated usually metastasis occurs from the well differentiated papillary carcinoma this is another very very important uh, portion usually content mixture of the papillary and colloidal field follicles which is already discussed and the tumor has papillary projection as it is the papillary carcinoma so there is the papillary projection and there is pale empty nuclei which is the uh, above which is the orphan ni nuclei and it is non capsulated that means seldom capsulated hematogenous spread is very very rare and the papillary carcinoma and the follicular carcinoma these two are the carcinoma of the thyroid gland or most important carcinoma of the thyroid gland because the papillary carcinoma it uh, accounts for 60 percent of total thyroid gland on the another hand the follicular carcinoma it accounts for 20 percent of the total thyroid cancer so these two it completed 80 percent of total thyroid carcinoma and the papillary and follicular carcinoma they are usually opposite so when we, here we can see the papillary carcinoma is capsulated the follicular capsule is non capsule follicular cancer non capsulated here the papillular papillary carcinoma is lymphatic metastasis but the hematogenous but the follicular carcinoma it is hematogenous metastasis so this type of difference also very very important so what is our answer that if people undergo thyroidectomy and is uh, the a specimen is non capsulated tumor and it has papillary projection and also it is the pale empty nuclei so what is the fissure of the tumor or this fissure is represent which of the tumor first of all non-capsulated we know the papillary carcinoma it is non-capsulated second one as it is the papillary carcinoma it is papillary projection and the third one is the pale empty nuclei so pale empty nuclei which is the orphan ni nuclei also the fissure of the papillary carcinoma and uh, if we forget all this condition only uh, keep in mind only one thing in this question that is the papillary projection so this one word is enough to answer the question that in case of the papillary projection papillary projection present which of the condition it is the papillary carcinoma this is the papillary papillary this word is similar so when there is papillary projection there is the papillary carcinoma nothing else and the follicular carcinoma it is opposite of the papillary carcinoma and the medullary carcinoma it occurs in thyroid gland and in this condition family predisposition so when there is the medullary carcinoma we should keep in mind that here the family should be present and anaplastic carcinoma it is very dangerous carcinoma it is very dangerous carcinoma on the other hand b cell lymphoma in case of the lymphoma there will be such type of uh, topics present such as the cd uh, 20 positive or this type or lymphocyte infiltration occurs this type of uh, uh, topics will be present so in this question non-capsulated papillary projection pale empty nuclei these are suggestive of the papillary carcinoma